So guys, welcome back again and uh, in the previous part we have done this uh, part of our application which uh, by pressing this button we will be able to choose an image from the gallery and it will ask for confirm to upload or not and if we press the confirm button it will upload the image into our uh, Firebase database and it will also add a link inside our database. So this part we have seen in the previous video. So in this video, I will show you the home page design uh, using the staggered view. You will enjoy more. So let's get started with our project. Here inside our scaffold, we have added the floating action button. Let me just... So inside our body of the scaffold, we will define... So first, the logic will be to retrieve those uh, all the URLs which are added inside our Firebase into our application, then use those URLs, show them using the staggered view. The first thing that we retrieve the URLs from the Firebase will be to either use Future Builder or Stream Builder. So I prefer Stream Builders. So here we will retrieve all the URLs from the uh, image collection reference and we will check if it is empty or null then we will show the circular progress bar um, for some reason if you if you are not able to retrieve the data from Firebase. And this stagger tile builder is the amount of height it can take inside the inside our home page. Uh, and here I declared if it is uh, if the index is uh, even, it should have 1.2 height, and if it is not even, it should take 1.8. So this is the overall design which I did inside our gesture detector which each item will be inside this. Uh, like whenever we press that it will take us into another, another page which uh, we are able to view that image, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, that's why we have used gesture detector and uh, each and every item is having this design inside the container which is a box decoration and some shadows, some radios and blurring this stuff. You can play with this design by yourself and this is the actual image which will be inside the clip R rigged. So now the decoration is done, we have to do some on tap of this gesture detector whenever the user actually tapping in the image itself what should happen on tap here we will define so for now we will just uh, print the go to detail uh, message into our console whenever the user taps into any image let's check our program So we have got some errors and some uh, weird design. Let's check. Uh, I think we inside our staggered builder we haven't specified the amount of item count. So now we don't have any error, but you can see there's a mess in between these two items because I have given the margin in a wrong place i have to give this margin inside the inner container now if we check we have our cool design and if we tap on this item it will say to go to detail here so that's it for this part of the video in the next video i will show you uh, how to add the detail for this whenever you press on the image it will show you a very nice detail of the image where you can zoom in zoom out 
also download the image from there it will be saved inside your gallery and much more so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and i will see you in the next video